It's been reported that Tiffany Haddish was offered to host the 2021 Grammy Awards pre-show, but she declined. According to Haddish, she was told she wouldn't get paid. Not only that, but according to TMZ, she was also told that everything would come out of her own pocket, hair, makeup, and wardrobe. Tiffany stated, I don't know if this might mean I might not get nominated ever again, but I think it's disrespectful. Interim Recording Academy President and CEO Harvey Mason Jr. posted a video on Instagram on Thursday and apologized to Tiffany personally about how things went down. Unfortunately, and without me knowing, a talent booker working for the Academy told Ms. Haddish that we wouldn't even cover her costs while she hosted this event for us. To me, that was wrong. Uh, I'm frustrated by that decision. It was a lapse in judgment. It was in poor taste uh, and it was disrespectful. We've seen several artists in the past criticize the Grammys and other award shows before, and those artists feel like their public criticism have prevented them from winning or being nominated again. Today on the show, we have our own comedy hype analyst, Rita Brent, calling in to talk about award shows and Hollywood politics. Now, Rita, this isn't the first criticism we've heard of the Grammys. We've heard criticism about the Oscars. Heck, when Kanye West went on stage at the VMAs, that brought light to the VMAs as well. But this is the first time for others, and I know for myself, that we've heard of a Grammys host not only not being compensated for their time, but also being asked to pay for their own hair, makeup, and wardrobe. So I'm, I'm interested to know, what were your thoughts when you saw this article? It was wild. I think... I have this idea that just because you offer me the ride, it doesn't mean that I have to take it. And this idea that Tiffany needs exposure, she is beyond the point of exposure. It's more like at this point, what can I do for you to enhance your thing? They need Tiff Tiffany. Tiffany doesn't need the Grammys. But the Grammys, they're just skating on thin ice. The weekend is protesting. Uh, they've had Grammys so male because they say they're being partial to men receiving awards. They've had Grammys so white. I'm telling you, they, they need to tighten up because the Grammys are going to be obsolete pretty soon once you just have all these negative narratives out there. But I think Tiffany made the right decision. Even though this is standard for them, they say to have hosts, uh, to, to not get any kind of compensation. I just think that's a, it's insulting to somebody like Tiffany at this point in her career. Right, and something else that was a bit concerning, and I, and I know you maybe feel the same way, Tiffany Haddish said in her statement, you know, I don't know if me speaking out is going to prevent me from being nominated again because she's nominated this year. But you know, that isn't the first time that we've heard that back in 1988, we heard Eddie Murphy, you know, say, criticize the Oscars and feel like, you know, he may not be nominated again. What were your thoughts when you heard Tiffany not only speak out, but she's saying, you know, I'm speaking out and I don't know if this may harm me later in the future. That was a big, gigantic red flag. That's the thing that stuck out to me the most. The fact that artists feel like they can't object without then maybe being uh, susceptible to permanent rejection, that is a sad space to be in. Artists should be able to speak up for themselves, demand what they're worth without this fear of being blackballed. It's like, if you don't comply, then you're not gonna get any more recognition. And to, for her to say that, even though they said that it won't affect her nominations in any way, you just never know because the, the, the Grammys, they had some shady things going on politically. Even their last person to run the Grammys uh, is suing them right now for all kinds of things, mismanagement of money, voting fraud within the Grammys. So this is this is exposing a lot. And I think a lot of people are up, are upset seeing that, you know, this is pretty much uh, a normal thing. You know, people using their time, and especially I think they say this would be three hours that her time would be used. So do you think a lot of people are also, up, you know, upset about this situation because it's more of a respect thing? Or do you think it's more of a money thing, a money issue? I think it's a combination of both because we have to remember we are in the middle of a pandemic. Entertainers are performing less. And I think the Grammys are going to be happening, happening in January 2021. So we're still at a point where it could be risking your life to go out and perform. So and we're not just getting the money. We're not getting the same amount of money that we were pre-pandemic. So a little paycheck would be nice. I mean, I know they're not for profit, but they're going to do a GoFundMe or something to raise some funds because hair, makeup, we have to be right especially black women. If we're on anybody's red carpet, if we're hosting anything, if we look the least bit dusty, somebody is going to say something. So absolutely they should have provided her at least uh, a budget for that. You know, this is not charity. 
This is not charity. The music industry is very lucrative. So if this were a charity event, I would get it because I have done some pro bono things during the, the pandemic myself. I performed virtually pro bono, you know, but you have to weigh the value. How is this going to bring any kind of value to Tiffany's brand that is already gigantic? And I, and I think that's a big point because of where Tiffany currently is. You know, she's been in the industry for so long and been putting in the work. And you're asking someone of that status to do something pro bono and also pay for, you know, your own, your own things. Yeah, that's her choice. You know, some people can just like somebody like me who does not have the exposure and my brand is not gigantic already. I might take the gig, you know, but I asked them to pay for my eyebrows, my eyelashes or something. I might take it. But Tiffany at this rate, nah, uh, no, nah, I don't think she should do it. And it's her right. It's her right. Just like the Grammys do what they do to protect their brand and their budget. It is Tiffany's right to stand up for what she believes in as well. So I'm proud of her. And this is probably going to change some things in the future. Now they're going to think twice about asking folks for, to do things for free because Tiffany spoke up on it. Right. And I do think it's important too. sometimes, you know, exposure can help someone in their career. What are your thoughts on the importance of exposure for someone, not necessarily in Tiffany's shoes, but they, that may be up and coming? Yeah, you just have to weigh it. I think every situation is circumstantial. You just have to weigh it because like I said, during the pandemic, I did a gig for some nurses and uh, because they're on the front lines of healthcare. So of course I didn't want to charge for that. And from that gig, I got at least 20 more gigs. So as a business person, you just have to think, well, what is the long-term value for this? But you also have to realize when you're getting played, sometimes you're you're getting played and sometimes you're not. But in this situation, this is kind of, I, I think Tiffany would have got played if she had agreed to this. And it was also a lack of communication because the Harvey guy did come and say he apologized. He didn't know this was going on. So so next time they're going to know, don't, don't come at Tiffany like that. <laughs> no, and, and I definitely appreciate it because I think it is important, like you said, especially for black women. When it comes to our hair, makeup, and wardrobe, we know we're criticized for every little thing. Right. That's yeah. why I have a hat on right now, uh, because my wardrobe and makeup budget is a little thin during the pandemic. <laughs> so that's why you've been seeing me wearing these hats. Shoot, I ain't got time to get my hair braided and all of that or the money right now. So it is what it is. <laughs> no, I love it. And I, and I appreciate Tiffany Haddish for speaking up. You heard from us. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Do you know the comedy culture? Play Comedy Hype, the game. Out now.